All right. So um, let's. I'm going to start by just simply saying where I'm coming from. I suppose I've been saddened for some time about the state of the church or churches. Um, how so many people really don't seem to be awake yet to the whole situation that we face. Uh, Helen Elwes was telling me that on the Camino to Cop, that uh, you encountered who, those who weren't encountered lots of people, church people who still weren't really knowledgeable about the situation. And I do think this is partly uh, to do with the spirituality that we grew up with and that we haven't all been helped with that that spirituality that helps us to really connect with all of creation. So I feel part of what we need to do is helping other people to move in that direction. And so as, much as I, I had an effort, I wanted to do a construction outside a church um, that would perhaps try and wake people up, not just church people, but everyone. And so I did this construction, this, this crucified planet construction. I couldn't find my own church wouldn't they wouldn't go for the idea i tried a couple of anglican churches they didn't want to do it they were doing other things um and eventually i found father richard knows bit in white city and he said yes i want you to do it outside my church prior to cop 26. and um, he's very switched on as father richard <laughs> um i will just share my screen a moment so for those of you who don't uh, who don't know um let me just excuse me this is all new to me doing this um Okay, All right. So yeah, this is the one. So um, this was what I did. So it was a realistically painted globe uh, constructed like this. It actually was fixed to a, a big wooden timber cross behind it. And as you see, it's in language that hopefully will touch uh, non-religious people as well. Um, I thought, you know, you could use words like repent and things like that, but some people are put off by such religious words. Um, hopefully the same meaning gets across. So, uh, I'll just get rid of that now. Uh, stop sharing. Oh, I need to escape. There we go. No. Sorry about this. <laughs> oh dear. Um, um, trying to escape. <laughs> I can't get back. <laughs> oh dear. Um, you are back you. for us. Sorry, George. okay, I'm back. I can see you. Ah, uh, you can see, right, sorry about that scary moment. Okay, so um, that's where, that's what I started with. And then it was on Good Friday morning that I just felt strongly, we are so crucifying our planet. And so what I did was I sat outside my church rather like the rebellion of one, I made a, a copy of, uh, the, uh, of that whole construction and I stuck it onto the side of, uh, or the front of the church. Um, so just bear with me a second. So basically it was a diminutive form of the, uh, the thing here. And um, I, I just sat there, meditated for an hour and a half, the Good Friday morning service occurred, uh, people went in, people went out. I had my eyes closed, I was just praying in silently, just to be a witness, basically. And uh, so I'm not sure how people react because I didn't see. However, there was one lady who interacted and said, are you with Christian Climate Action? I said, yes. And she said, I just want to thank you so much for what you're doing. Turned out she was one of the sisters from the convent across the road. Uh, I must try and contact her and get something going there, maybe. <laughs> but um, I just thought this is something that could be done across the country quite easily if people had a copy of this. So I've made um, I've made a, a digital graphic which could be printed off as uh, a zero size, that maximum size, or you can make it any size you want. And I thought. I'd like to also revamp the, the leaflet that we have, the CCA leaflet, because we're specifically target, targeting church audiences, church congregations. Um, so this is the Google Doc you will find in the chat. Um, yeah, uh, am I still sharing the screen here? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, and 
our CCA leaflet, but um, you know, the, the, this uh, the black, the one with the black and white front could be revamped like this. Uh, so it's the same information, but now included with with that image. So people could take that away with them. Okay, so enough of the images now. Uh, let me just uh, get back to. Okay, now um, the Google Doc. Um, this is what I would like to say, and this I'm sure will need editing. I've borrowed stuff from the existing leaflet. Um, maybe before I read that, before we look at that, uh, let me just look at my notes a second. So the idea I'm proposing basically is that people across the country, whether individually or in couples or threes or whatever, could just do this outside, I call it a sleepy church, a church that's maybe not really very much awake. I know lots of churches are engaging and that's great. Um, but the idea is, 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 is to also to try and recruit people into CCA. Uh, and at the very least get them connecting with the other various ecological platforms like Laudato C platform, um, uh, Arrocha, Green, uh, church, all these different organizations to try and get people more connecting. And if any church has an existing small group, like Justice and Peace group we have in Catholic churches, uh, to get them in, you know, involved in all this, to, to, to try we, that we go further, that we try and help the parish to grow in, in consciousness and to become more actively involved. That's, that's my intention, my desire. I think that's what Pope Francis wants for the church is, you know, to, to, to come alive in that spirituality. So the leaflets, um, so if we look at that leaflet now, uh, what I have proposed, the, as I say, the wording may well need to change. I feel the very first bit of it is actually uh, important to set the spiritual stance. So uh, shall I read it out? Um, we're appealing to all who identify as being Christian and part of God's beautiful interconnected creation. The Holy Spirit permeates all and therefore all is sacred and has a dignity. This is the kingdom of God. We are in Christ. Christ is in us. Do we believe this when we, re when we receive communion? In him we live and move and have our being. All creation is his body, and what we do to creation, we do to Christ. We are crucifying the planet. We need to grow in the spirituality that sees all creatures as kin, just as St. Francis saw and could exclaim, Brother Sun, Sister Moon, Brother Wolf. If you believe this, then do not be bystanders, but rise up. We are called to act, combating the very real and life-threatening crisis of climate change, and the collective evils that drive it and all the other injustices, that is corporate greed, government inaction and folly. We're being driven over a cliff by these immoral forces. Soon there will be a domino effect of climate change that will be catastrophic if we do not act urgently. We've all heard the scientists' dire warnings. A climate emergency was declared in 2019. What have we been doing about it in this time? Code Red was declared. The alarm bells are ringing loudly. People in other parts of the world have, uh, have been suffering and dying as a result of climate change. Animals have been driven to extinction. There will be many millions more refugees. What can we do? Everyone can do their own bit in their personal lives to live more sustainably, but that alone will not be enough to change the systems. Corporate evils need a collective response from us. Systems have to change. We need to step outside our comfort zones. We're called to fight social and environmental justice. Our faith demands this. Our Lord demands this. The churches, God, God's faithful, should have been leading the way in this endeavor, but sadly do not seem to have grown in this necessary kind of spirituality. It's, it seems that the Lord could not find enough believers in the church to act, and so he went to the people outside the church and raised his spirit with them. Most people in Extinction Rebellion who do not identify with any particular religion or are atheist or agnostic understand the interconnectedness of all being and the love of it. 
isn't this deep spiritual intuition, intuition what we are meant to have too? Organisations like Christian Climate Action, the Christians of Extinction Rebellion, have been trying to respond appropriately. This means some are called to non-violent direct action and civil disobedience, and they are supported by people in various ways according to their various gifts. Recall the changes brought about in this way by people like Mahan, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., the suffragettes. Christ himself drove out the money changers of the temple. There is a theology that supports this. The inconvenience caused by disruptive tactics becomes minuscule when you see the massive, global, life-threatening inconvenience of extinction. We need to be disrupted from our comfort zones in order to respond. This rebellion against climate and social injustice needs people on the front line, but also creators, administrators, organizers, energizers. God has blessed us all with different skills. If you want to use yours to stand up for life, contact us now. Please join us in this collective response against collective evil that threatens life on this planet. In joining us, you will also find hope and new and great fellowship in a bigger notion of church. Let us act out of love. Let Christ shine through us. And there, I just put a couple of quotes, um, Archbishop Canterbury, the one on the original um, leaflet that we have. I've also added Pope Francis's one there. So um, that's the idea. And as you see, that's a whole A4 page. And what we had before was A3, and some may say, is this too much? But I think maybe this could be adapted. Maybe there could be different versions according to what churches. Um, um, Kate Midgley suggested that, that, uh, you know, they could be trimmed down appropriately wherever necessary. You know, I, I envisage that this would not be something that would happen that we would all do on the same day, like, like Rebellion of One, but it's something that could happen on and off and maybe repeatedly outside churches um, and tailored to that particular church. Um, so uh, I, I've, the, the graphic for, you know, the whole design of the crucified planet, I would make available for people to, to do with whatever they want and they could print it off it would have probably at their own cost. Um, I think you could probably get an A0 done for about 20 pounds, I think. Um, also, if you wanted to make leaflets, we think, I think Melanie, you were saying that possibly we couldn't do this as a central funded thing, but we, again, that could be a locally, a locally, you know, you know how many you'd need, uh, and you could make more yourself, you could print them off yourself possibly if you have the facility to do so. So that's the idea. So what I, I wanted to do now really was, so we could go into breakout rooms to discuss this. Now, um, what I want to do now is just, if I can put the questions, sorry, I'm just going to bring up the document I closed. <laughs> um, bear with me a second. Sorry about this. I'm just going to open up my notes document and um, there we go. And I shall copy in the questions that I have. Now, it's a big chunk to stick in here. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. Um, it's not going to go. Martin. Okay. Um, there's a slight problem that when uh, the breakout rooms happen, the chat is lost. Yeah. Yes. So if you wanted to read them out, the questions, okay. people could right. just make a note of them. Yeah, okay. So first of all, uh, if, you, if, if you can access the document to, to consider the wording of the leaflet, what changes we might need to make. Um, the church is God's faithful, it should have been leading the way. It might come over as a bit judgmental. That's one comment uh, Helen Elwell's made. Um, uh, um, and would we include other quotes possibly, uh, maybe at the bottom, bearing in mind, obviously we have this A4 format, maximum size. Um, so for example, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said, the latest IPCC report is a code red, you know, to actually give it its context like that too, you could have that one. Um, 
uh, also Sir David uh, King, his comment, um, and he said, unless we make the transitions necessary, we're going to lose what we understand by our civilization over the coming decades. So uh, this was another suggestion Helen had uh, given me uh, that include these quotes, but of course, as I say, it takes up more space. Um, how could this adventure be adapted in your own parish or situation to think about that? Um, what scope do you think you might have within your own church about maybe engaging the minister or priest if it's possible to get them on board? Other, if not, it's a, it's a, a silent witness outside with hopefully may, maybe... Um, I mean, the idea is, is, is it's a silent witness. However, there are leaflets. If you're doing singly, you might have leaflets with you for people to take. But it's easier if you have someone who's praying and someone who's maybe leafleting, as we did outside with the Buddhists outside Barclays Bank last week. Um, so um, to think how you might adapt it to your own situation. Um, and... Uh, Yes, what, what, what name should we give this whole venture? Um, one suggestion was Sunday Climate Vigil or Crucified Planet Vigil. Um, and should we repeat this action and how often should we repeat it? You know, uh, maybe that's an, again a local decision uh, for wherever you are and what you think is necessary. And I think what would be crucial to this is obviously if we are recruiting, we still need to have uh, newcomer sessions, obviously, to to follow up with. Uh, so that's the that's the whole uh, idea.